Hi. Welcome back to Mindflux. The history of human evolution is a captivating story that spans millions of years. Humans have gone through many stages, from being little more than animals, to becoming civilized beings with language and culture. Today humans are the most dominant species on Earth, and continue to evolve in both physical form and mentality. In this video, we will discuss some of the most interesting facts about how we evolved. And learn more about human evolution and human development on our journey to becoming modern humans. The evolution of the human species is a fascinating topic that has captured the attention of many people across the world. It can be difficult to comprehend how we went from being small, tree-dwelling apes that were barely recognizable as human, to the dominant species on planet Earth. We are so different now than our ancestors were just tens of thousands of years ago. Here is a list of six stages of evolution. Number 1. Dryopithecus. Dryopithecus were the ancestors of both humans and apes. They lived in China, Africa, Europe, and India. When they were alive during prehistoric times their environment was dense forests, so it's likely that they ate mostly vegetation instead of meat. Dryopithecus are considered as possible direct human ancestor, since there are ape-like features but lack some traits from modern species, such as large brain or binocular vision for hunting particular prey among others, which make them more suitable to be eaten by other predators than hunted themselves, due to size or strength difference between them. Number 2. Australopithecus. Australopithecus, the genus of early hominids that are ancestors to modern humans. They lived on the ground and used stones as weapons for defense or hunting purposes. Australopithecus were 4 feet tall, weighed around 60 to 80 pounds, had a powerful upper body with long arms relative to legs, which they used for locomotion by walking erectly along the land surface in Africa about 4 million years ago, up until 1 million BC when Homo habilis developed who walked upright, using their hands less frequently than Australopithecus did before them. Number 3. Homo erectus. Homo erectus, the first fossil of Homo erectus, was found in Java in 1891. These were named as Pithecanthropus erectus. They are considered to be a missing link between man and apes like our ancestors would have been. Another discovery made at Peking man had large cranial capacities, which suggests that they lived together. Tools comprising quartz have also been discovered alongside with bones or wood for making tools too. There is evidence of collective hunting showing how skilled these hominids really were, while there's even more proof suggesting the use of fire by them. Number 4. Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. Neanderthal was a human species that lived during the Stone Age. The cranial capacity of Neanderthals grew from 1200 to 1600 CC, allowing them to hunt mammoths and other large animals. Neanderthal is known as one of many subspecies in Homo sapiens evolutionary timeline, that evolved into modern humans today. They had an average brain size between 1200 to 1600 cubic centimeters, which allowed for hunting big game such as mammoths successfully, due to their technology advancement with hand axes discovered around this time frame too. And last but not least. Number 5. Homo sapiens sapiens. The first remains of Homo sapiens were discovered in Europe and named Cro-Magnon. With reduced jaws, a chin that appears modern, and rounded skulls with cranial capacity at 1350 cc, these humans gathered food by hunting. Well, we've come a long way as humans, and we're always evolving. But let's not forget where it all started. With those first steps out of the water onto land. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for Mindflux.